This video is sponsored by ASUS Philippines. If there's one thing that the past year has taught us, it has to be the value of having a space where we can feel inspired and productive. Because of this, throughout the past months, I challenged myself to slowly build up my dream desk setup. My name is Kevin Serna, a content creator based in Cebu, Philippines. If you follow me over on Instagram, I'm pretty sure that you're aware that I love the color black. Hence, I knew that a black and moody theme would be the best fit for my setup. As a content creator myself, I'm a firm believer that your surroundings could definitely influence your psychological well-being and creative thinking. That's why having a functional desk setup for me is very important in my day-to-day -day tasks as a video creator and graphic designer. All these being said, it's time for the reveal. Now, let's talk about the individual parts that made this setup functional. Starting off with my desk, it's an oak wood riding desk that has this white and shiny tabletop with hard oak wood legs. I have to be honest, the desk is sturdy. However, I'm currently on the look for a standing desk for more ergonomics. But for now, this works for me. This drawer below the desk has to be one of my favorite parts of the setup because it is small, yet it keeps all of my essential things hidden inside of it which ultimately keeps my things more organized. Onto the desk shelf, this is a walnut desk shelf made by Grovemade. If you haven't heard about this company, they create high quality accessories for your desk. The reason why I love this desk shelf so much is its functionality. This clever shelf makes use of the vertical space of my desk to store and hide things underneath it, like this Nomad Base Station Pro wireless charger. Not to mention, it also holds my iPad in this two-tier shelf. Whenever I use my iPad, I simply hide my keyboard below the shelf and plug in this Thunderbolt connection from my monitor to charge my iPad and at the same time, have a bigger display for my media consumption. Speaking of displays, if you're a video editor, graphic designer, or a content creator, you're gonna need a good monitor for your setup. Specifically one that has great color accuracy and a big screen real estate. Hence, I could highly recommend you to go and check out the ProArt series of monitors from ASUS. The model that ASUS sent out to me is their ProArt PA34V Curved Professional Monitor. This monitor is one of their ultra-wide lineups and it packs a handful of features. It is 34.1 inches with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio at 1440p resolution, which comes in very handy for that extra screen real estate. This means that I could have a bigger timeline on my screen and still have that extra room for other tabs which saves me a lot of time in the edit. It also has HDR, 100% sRGB, which depicts that deep black levels on the screen, and a 100Hz IPS display, which already comes ProArt color calibrated right off the box. As a guy who is used to single monitor setups, this upgrade surely ties my dream desk setup altogether. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about this light on top of my monitor. Well, this is the Baseus Monitor Light Bar. If you're someone like me that usually works late at night, I could definitely recommend this product since it somehow helps in reducing eye strain by lighting up your desk at night. Moving on to the peripherals, I have decided to go full wireless with my mouse and keyboard to achieve that clean and minimal look. For my keyboard, this is the Keychron K6 and I just love the small footprint this keyboard has on my desk. To the right, we have the well-known productivity mouse the Logitech MX Master 3. What I love most about this mouse is its numerous buttons and features that is surely helpful for my needs as a content creator. Now those things below my keyboard and mouse are the Keychron Palm Rest and the Carpier Ergonomic Wrist Rest by Delta Hub. Both of these accessories has one main purpose for my desk, ergonomics. These clever devices raises my palm higher off my desk to prevent myself from wrist strains by shifting pressure from the wrist to my palm. This in itself gets rid of that uncomfortable feeling when using your keyboard and mouse. Delta Hub also sent out to me their minimalistic felt mouse pad to protect my desk from scratches. My desk speakers is the Logitech G560. Audio quality is amazing and not to mention, it's sleek and minimal look. Its backlight feature also helps me out a lot in reducing eye strain by lighting up the wall behind my monitor at night. If you're wondering how crispy and quality my voiceover is, I'm currently using the Mayono AUP-M421. For me, this microphone is truly the bang for your buck. 
For my chair, this is the Achilles EL1 gaming chair by Gamjas. This is honestly not the best gaming chair out there but hey, its quality is still reasonable for its price. I wouldn't recommend this though if you're from the Philippines with a hot room because trust me, its leather material does get hot after a few hours of use. The light beside my desk is a Nordic floor lamp by Lasco. Its minimalistic design definitely goes so well with the entire setup. Hence, I mainly use it for aesthetic purposes. Now, for the last and definitely not the least, my dream PC setup. I decided to go with the NZXT H510 Elite case and I just love how elegant this case looks with both the front and side tempered glass. The fans are from NZXT as well which has this futuristic lead ring design to it. Now, the CPU is the Ryzen 7 3700X paired with the ASUS ROG Strix 2070 Super graphics card which I think is already enough for my needs in video editing and graphic design. For the RAM, I decided to go for 32 gigs with a G-Skill Trident Z. Now you might be asking how I got that customized Be More text on the cooler. Well, this is the Aros Liquid Cooler 2080 AIO with a customizable LED display panel built into it. For my storage, I got the 250 gig Samsung 970 Evo Plus SSD and a 2TB Seagate hard drive. I also recently got this 1TB SanDisk portable SSD as a backup drive for my photo and video projects. Lastly, in order to tie the black theme of the setup, I also got these black custom cables from Formula Mod. And that wraps up my first ever setup tour. If you're interested in any of the gear in this video, I'll be placing links in the description down below. I hope you find this video helpful and gave you some inspiration for your own setup. If you're still watching this right now, go ahead and smash that like button and comment down below the phrase, back is life, for the YouTube algorithm. This has been Kevin Adacerna and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!